first one must learn that we have also oppression in ourselves. Because we don't cultivate ourselves properly. The ego becomes big. Sometimes we feel that we are nobody. We want to be recognized. So the ego is very essential. But if you learn to breathe properly, you tame the ego, and you see that the the ego is not real, you know. Even you cannot get to that stage. Learn to make fun of yourself, learn, learn to belittle yourself, and then learn to interrelate with others. We are interrelated, not only human and human. We are interrelated to the, the trees. Without the trees, we cannot breathe properly. The tree helps us a great deal. And this is the Buddha teaches us to learn from Mother Earth, learn from the tree, from the ocean. So the essential teaching of the Buddha is learning. So if we can learn things skillfully, we can change oppression ourselves and then try to change oppression outside. Inside, outside, interrelated. You cannot be one without the other. That in my opinion. If you see things into black and white, good and evil, that's dangerous. When you denounce something as evil, subconsciously, we ourselves become evil. You know? When you hate somebody, subconsciously, we imitate that person we hate. So the Buddha said, we just learn the other person, how bad he or she is. He or she also has Buddha nature. He or she is a, also a good person. As the Quaker said, everyone has God in you. Learn to see the goodness of the other side and how to relate, how to develop Kalayana Mitra, to be good friend. And things will change. The Chinese have not listened to Tibetan for the 60 years. But the Buddha, the Dalai Lama said, well, 60 years is a short time. You could keep on learning, speaking to them, loving them, at least selfishly, we are not harming ourselves. That's that essential.